don't have iPads impacted my teaching, I honestly do not know how to answer this question. I see the use of this device all around me and I feel so inadequate. Teachers walk around with it tucked up next to them. And it reminds me of high school when the popular girls held their books in a certain way. And they look so cool. And I long to be just like them. I have the same feeling when I see the iPad strutters. I long to be like them too. I've been struggling with the use of the iPad for a few years now. I tried to use it in place of my laptop, but that notion quickly failed. I needed a special connector to hook up the iPad to my smart board, so I had to borrow the connector, which meant I had to clean in advance, and that's when my frustrations began. The next time I tried to clean the use of the iPad was to create a KWL chart in social studies, and I found it so tricky and difficult to use. The height of embarrassment was when I had several important guests in my room and I couldn't get it to work properly. I never knew it could flip in so many different directions. <laughs> and Sylvia would meet with me once a week and she would tell me about all the new apps on the iPad and I gave her the same look that my students sometimes give me. A cross between I wish I could and thanks but no thanks. Then this opportunity came to win a new iPad. And for some reason I wanted to, but I misunderstood the prompt. I thought it was a hot satire on anything that I wanted to present about, so I was going to do student-led conferences. When I found out I was wrong, I decided to drop out, but deep down I really didn't want to. I started thinking how my students would handle the same situation if they misunderstood an assignment I had given them. It was time, to me to, time for me to reflect. I discussed my dilemma with Sylvia and I had a famous aha moment. Maybe the iPads have impacted me. I had used the Haiku deck to create my hot sata on the student-led conferences and I'd used it with ease. Maybe I should set a goal of using the iPad to help me organize things for the spring student-led conferences. <laughs> Maybe I am moving into the 21st century world of teaching. I hadn't even realized that I'd chosen an app on the iPad and not relied on my laptop to create the PowerPoint. One of the main components in the student-led conferences is for the student to set goals. So why shouldn't I set goals for me too? This, is a, this student took a really deep look into his, himself to set, pro, to set his goals for his progress, and I needed to do the same. In order to be a good teacher, I truly believe that we all have to be good learners. How can we expect our students to be willing to learn new things if we ourselves refuse to do the same? We must be willing to step out of our comfort zones and go for it, no matter if we succeed or fail. And I realized this would be easy for me to document my students' progress on the <coughs> iPad. Pictures, audio recordings, documentation, all in one space on an app called Evernote. My goal, use the iPad to help me document my students' progress for the next student-led conferences. If I can do this successfully, there's no doubt in my mind that the iPad will impact my teaching. Just having a tool in my hands that helps me organize and document impacts the way that I can relate to my students and to the parents. What if I could record my conversations with my, with my students and let the parents hear firsthand the learning that's taking place? It's not a what if, it's a reality. Goal setting with the students will become easier. What a valuable tool if I can record my thoughts as I work with my students. No more forgetting important details when I want to document my lesson or my meeting with them. So, <laughs> yes, the iPad will impact my teaching. We always try to instill in our students to have a positive attitude towards learning. So we must all start saying yes to trying new things too. When I first started teaching at Martin J. Gottlieb Day School, Andrea gave me some great advice. Learning is messy, and I have come to realize that this is a very true statement. Now, I would like to add to that great piece of advice, that teaching can be messy too. <laughs> I can't expect to be an iPad expert, and when I use it in my class, there will be more fumbles and problems, but that's okay. After all, <coughs> I am, I'm the same person that when I first started working here swore that I could never ever go from a desktop to a laptop and no way could I ever get used to an Apple product. I'm seeing a pattern here. What new wonderful, wonderful things am I going to resist in the future? I read once that resistance is only fear, so the next step for me is to tackle Twitter. <laughs> Thank you.